All right, this is Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 15. And in this lesson, we're going to be modeling uh, word problems. Uh, and essentially, we're going to be using those tape diagrams. And the idea for this lesson is for students to see that uh, when modeling multiplication and division, the tape diagram is going to look a specific way compared to tape diagrams that are modeling addition and subtraction. And the idea is, in when modeling multiplication and, di and division, our intervals here this are, are going to be equal. They're going to be equal intervals uh, to represent multiplication and division. Typically, when addition and subtraction is used, uh, these intervals are not all going to be the same size. Um, and that's going to be the big lesson that students are going to uh, experience here. So let's get started. We have a store clerk, and the store clerk equally divides 36 apples between 9 baskets. Draw a tape diagram and label the number of apples as A. All right, so first thing we know is we've got 36 apples, and they're being divided amongst 9 baskets. So our tape diagram doesn't really matter how long the tape diagram is, but I'm going to divide it up into nine equal sections, and that's our nine baskets. And the total is 36 apples, and the question is, uh, write, uh, let's see, draw a tape diagram and label the number of apples in each basket as A. So they want us to know how many apples uh, are in one basket, and we're going to label that with the letter A. So right here, this is your classic tape diagram. There may be other ways to draw it, but this is probably the one that is most common for this kind of problem. Now we're supposed to write an equation and solve for A. Well, we have a couple of choices, and one choice is we could say 9 times A equals 36, because we have nine baskets, so we have nine groups, and there's A apples. A stands for a number, not like one apple, but A apples in each basket. And so nine times what equals 36? And of course, we can do that, and we say, oh, A is equal to four. So there's four apples in each basket. Now that's one way we could have written the equation and solved it. Another way we could have written it, and I'll do it in blue, is we could have said 36 divided by 9 equals A. And then in this case, A is equal to 4. So we had two ways that we could have written the equation for this problem. But in both cases, the answer is going to be A. I mean, A is equal to 4. All right, for this problem, Denise buys seven movies. Each movie costs $9. What is the total cost of those seven movies? And it says use a letter, so we get to choose the letter this time. And, of course, we're supposed to solve it. So, let's see. Denise buys seven movies, and each movie costs $9. So I'm going to draw a tape diagram... And I'm going to draw and do my best, seven is a hard number, to make seven equal sized pieces. Because we have seven movies and they're all the same cost. So that means we need seven boxes to represent the seven movies. And they need to look like they're about the same size because they're each nine dollars. So I'm going to label that nine dollars. And then it says, what is the total cost? So that's this piece right here, and I'm going to put a question mark. Except, they don't want us to use a question mark. What they want us to do is use a letter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my... Let's see, can I do that? No, I'm going to do... Uh, I'm sorry, I'm struggling here. There. I'm going to use, oh, let's use the letter M. So instead of the question mark, I'm going to use the letter M for movies. All right, so now we have to write an equation. So we one way to write it would be 
7 times 9 is equal to m, and m is equal to 63. Now, why would we do that? Well, we have 7 movies, and each movie costs $9, so 7 groups of 9. So 7 times 9 equals the total, and that's m is equal to 63. Another way we could have written it, another equation, is we could, and I'll use blue again, we could have written m divided by 7 is equal to 9. We could have said, well, m dollars, our total, divided by 7 movies is equal to $9 per movie. So we could have written it this way. I think this one would, would have been less common for students. But there we go. We have two ways we could have written the problem as a multiplication or as a division, but in both cases we get the answer of 63. On this problem, there are nine pens in a pack. Mrs. Ochoa buys nine packs. And after giving her students some pens, she has 27 pens left. So this word after means, uh, it kind of suggests to me it's going to be a two-parter. We have the before and then the after, all right? So let's figure out, first off, the before. Well, how many, how many pens did Miss Ochoa have in the first place? So our model is we have nine pens in a pack, and she buys nine packs. So that means my tape diagram is going to have nine, because this stands for the nine packs. And then each pack contains nine pens. So the first thing is, what's the total? Um, so I'm going to put T for total. And so our equation is going to be 9 times 9 equals the total for T. And T is equal to 81. So she has 81 pens total. And then... And I'm going to do da 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 And now we're going to work on the after. It says, after giving her students some pens, she has 27 pens left. So what is my model going to look like? And I'm going to do it in blue. So I've got my total here, and my total is 81. And it says, after she gave some pens away, she has 27 pens left. So I'm going to do a bar right here and she has 27 pens left so I'm gonna put left and this she gave away and we don't know how many she gave away so that's my I'm gonna use the letter G for give so she gave away some pens and that's this and now she has 27 left over so the equation here so you can see um, well, I'm going to keep going here. Well, no, I'm going to say, so you can see this up here, they're all equal size pieces, and it was multiplication. Here, they're not equal size pieces, so it's not going to be a multiplication or a division problem. Instead, it's going to be a, an addition or a subtraction problem, because they're not equal sized pieces. So, in still in blue, I'm going to say, well, we could do 27 plus g equals 81. Or another way we could have written it, we could have written it as 81 minus 27 equals g. So either one of these equations would give us the proper answer for g. And I think I'm going to do the 81 minus 27, and let's do that right here. 81 minus 27. We have to do some regrouping here. So that's going to leave us with 7 tens and 11 ones. So 11 ones minus 7 is 4, and then 7 tens minus 2 tens is 5. So g is equal to 54 pens is how many she gave away. So you can see the big deal here. The big difference right here is when they're equal sized, it generally means either multiplication or division. And when they're unequal, they're different 
sizes, it generally means addition or subtraction. And that is Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 15, using tape diagrams to model our word problems.